This is a new video for 2020 designed to bring you up to date on all the different types of sliding D-rings currently available. They still sell their harness with the rubber D-rings, but they also now have an option where you can buy this stainless steel sliding D-ring. I would do exactly what Audrey has done here, and she has cut down the waist buckle, roughly about half the size, made a lip. Okay, so the next one is actually one of the most simple and certainly Vassy's favorite D-ring at the moment. One little tip here, if you've got yourself a GoPro camera, you can get a mini tripod like we've done here. And if you've not got somebody who can assist you, you can actually take little video clips. Now, I have noticed a couple of problems. If you use a D-ring, which does not measure exactly 50 millimeters from top to bottom. So I'm glad to say in this new video, I get to talk about the newer style of sliding D-ring that Andrew Goring designed. If you see something online that I've not reviewed, get in touch and I'll try and review it for you. For the rest of this video, I'm going to talk about lots of different useful items that we've come across you can use. Now, this one is a cylinder carrying strap that Joe, he's one of our side mount essential instructors who operates out of Gainesville in Florida. He found that this carrying strap was the right size to fit around the modular valves on his cylinders. I want to talk about a problem you get with leg pockets on dry suits and semi dries. This modification is for anyone using a razor side mount system. What I highly recommend is that you swap out the camelback. We're going to look at making a long hose regulator breakaway clip that you can reuse. Next, I want to talk about some improvements I've seen with the latest bolt snaps from Xdeep. This is a really good replacement fin strap and he goes through step by step how you can make this. Another good tip for securing items like small backup lights that you can see here is to make this nylon cord wrap. This is actually a really good tip for instructors when they need to weight their students or just add a small amount of weight to different positions on the body 